Bonjour! Hi there Fox class, this is a video to go with a piece of work which is in your home learning pack, which looks like this, called Vocabulary for Making a French High Street Zigzag Book. So, if you haven't got this with you, then dig it out and just have a brief look over it because you're going to need it for the task which I'm going to show you. So, last term, we were looking at Centreville and the different places in towns. We were looking at um, how to use directions to ask where to go somewhere and how to tell somebody how to get somewhere. So today we're going to look a bit more specifically at types of shops that you might find in the centre-ville um, in a typical town in France. And to do that we're going to make our own French high street. So in your home learning pack you should also have received a long piece of paper Okay, which I think for you came folded in half because I needed to fit it into your envelope. So that's good though, you need that fold. So take your long piece of paper and fold it in half. Okay, just go over that fold I made and then take one edge and you're going to fold it back to meet the fold. Okay, so you've done this loads of times before in class. This is just a quick reminder. Okay, and do the same with the other side. So that goes to meet the other side. Okay, and then what you are left with is a zigzag book, which looks like this. Okay, then you're gonna need a pencil and some scissors. And I've got lots of examples of what we're making around me, but I'm just going to pop them uh, down to give me a little bit of space. There's a nice one. These are from past um, year groups. That's a really jazzy one there. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, just adapt our zigzag book a bit so that it's not all flat and straight at the top. We want to make it look like buildings would. So to do that, take a pencil and just lightly draw on the shape of the top of the building that you would like. So I'm going to do... This one is a kind of regular triangular one. This one, I think I'm going to give a chimney. And then the rest of it's going to be a kind of flat roof. And let's have another zigzag one over here. Actually, I might do a double. Let's do a double zigzag. There's one like that. And this one, I'm going to give a chimney. Then you need your scissors and you just need to cut along the lines that you have drawn to give your building some shape. Okay, there's the first one. And then the triangle. in the middle okay, and the last one my double zigzag okay so now you can see already that's starting to look a bit more like a row of shops rather than just a plain zigzag book okay. then this is when you're going to need your sheet, which I gave you in your home learning book. Because in this grid, in the centre of the page, are a list of shops that um, in English, and then their translation for in French. Okay. Now, if there isn't a shop on there um, that's that you would like to use, so if there's one that I haven't included, um, I don't know, like a shoe shop or something, um, then I suggest you go to an online dictionary, if you haven't got a paper one in your house, um, called Word Reference. Okay, So if you go to Google, type in Word Reference, that's a really good online dictionary and they give really good accurate translations. So that's where to go, but I have put quite a big list on there for you to get started and it's up to you how many you do. So you might want to do one side, you might want to do both sides, or you might want to take another piece of paper 
create another zigzag book and then you can attach that with a little bit of tape or a small line of glue at one edge and then you can keep adding them on so your high street could end up really 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 long um, but it depends um, what what you want to do really so I'm going to choose one of my favorite French shops which is a patisserie where they sell all kinds of beautiful cakes that look almost um, too good to eat and I'm gonna make this building my patisserie so I'm just gonna section off the roof area there then I'm gonna do a big bit at the top where the name of the shop is gonna go let's just call it La Patisserie and then I'm gonna have my shop window <clears throat> door so people can get in and buy their cake and then in the shop window you'll be able to see all the beautiful cakes and that's why you need your colors so you can make it really vibrant and um, really attractive um, you could if you've got paints at home you could do it perhaps with some fine kind of watercolors that would look really nice okay so there's a start penciling out my patisserie uh, and then I'm not sure I might have a butcher's and maybe a clothes shop on there and a little supermarket I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but it's up to you which shops you choose try and practice the vocabulary to get that in your head because it's really useful to know the names of different shops if you ever go on holiday to France um, yeah but have fun and I look forward to seeing some photos of what you've achieved don't forget to send your photos to our teachers email and then I can write you back um, a little bit of praise. Um, have fun. Enjoy making your French high street. Au revoir.